Namaste. Today we will see or from today we will start fourth chapter of Bhagavad Gita. And we can say the basic, the introduction of fourth chapter is in previous two chapters, second chapter and third chapter, Bhagavan has talked about Karma Yoga also and Bhagavan has talked about even Gnana Yoga also. Karma Yoga has been talked in second chapters in some part and third chapter is totally dedicated to Karma Yoga. And while in second chapter, particularly from 11th chapter, 11th verse up to 25th verse is totally dedicated to Gnana Yoga. Means what is the real nature of the self? Jnanam, self-knowledge has been re revealed from 11th verse up to the 25th verse. And according to Veda, the first portion, this uh, Karma Yoga is called Pravrutti Margaha and this self-knowledge portion is called Nivrutti Margaha. So combination of both Karma Yoga and Gnana Yoga, here Bhagavan is presented in the name of only Yoga. So the teaching of Gnana Yoga, the teaching of Karma Yoga are called Yoga here. And this has been started from first verse of fourth chapter. So now if we enter in the first verse, the first verse is like this. Bhagavan has said, Shri Bhagavan Vajar, Imam Vivasvate Yogam, Prokta Vahanam Avyayam, Vivaswan Manave Praha, Manuhu Ikshvakave Apravit. So if we go directly to Anvaya, so Anvaya will be like this. Shri Bhagavan Vaj. So Shri Bhagavan has spoken about. And Bhagavan says, Aham Proktavan. The meaning is Aham means myself. Proktavan was taught, was spoken. And what Bhagavan has spoken about? So Bhagavan says, Imam means this. Avyayam means imperishable. Yoga means the combination of both teaching Karma Yoga and Gnana Yoga. So we may have question to whom Bhagavan has taught all this Karma Yoga and Gnana Yoga. So Bhagavan says, Vivasvate, I have taught this teaching of Gnana Yoga and Karma Yoga to Lord Surya Bhagavan. Lord Sun Devta, I have taught this both Karma Yoga and Gnana Yoga. And then Vivasvan. Manave Praha. This teaching of Karma Yoga and Gnana Yoga, this Lord Son has given to his own son by the name Manu. Manave Praha and Manu. That Manu King has taught this Gnana Yoga and Karma Yoga to Ikshvakave Abravit. So this Manu Raja has spoken this teaching of Gnana Yoga, Karma Yoga to Ishvaku. To his own son, name is Ishvaku. So here, that parampara, the tradition of teaching has been really revealed by Bhagwan himself. And the meaning of second verse we will see tomorrow. Hari Om. Namaste.